This that lollipop lash boutique, baby. Undeniable. Amazing lashes. Period, poo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm actually really, really excited today because I've been watching a whole lot of mukbang or mukbang or nobody really knows how to say it, but everybody knows what it is. So I've been watching a lot of mukbang videos and I decided that I wanted to do one, but it's not that easy for me because um, as some may know, I'm a vegetarian. So I can't really just go kind of a ham out like everybody else and just go to whatever store and get whatever. So I kind of have to make, um, and I live in a state where they don't, they don't really, you know, cater to vegetarians. So like in Cali and stuff, you know, you can do a mukbang and be fine. But where I live, that's just really not a thing. So for my mukbang, I made, I'm really excited about this, some vegetarian hot Cheeto boneless wings. How cute. Okay, so for my mukbang, I have these. I have um, a good amount of those. I don't know if you can see the whole little spread there. I made myself a vegetarian Big Mac. Um, I actually went to McDonald's and got everything except for the patty. So this is a vegetarian Boca patty. Then on the other side, I have, um, it's like sweet Asian chili wings, I think. And then this is what these look like up close. Oh, the sauce is dripping. Mm, can't wait, can't wait. Then I went to Wingstop, as you see this Big Tail Wingstop Ranch, and got a side of fries. And um, I went to Taco Bell and got some Cinnabon Delights, because those are my personal faves. I got a Freezy. Yeah, mm-hmm. Then I got two Minute Maid Peach Punch Lemonades. So honestly, I think I'm ready to get started. Okay, y'all. So really, I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared to taste these um, hot Cheeto wings. Not because I think they're gonna be nasty, but just because like, hold on, pause. Y'all see my candle right here? I'm taking myself out on a date, honey. Gotta set the mood. I wanted my, um, my mukbang to be a little vibe for myself anyway so the first thing that i wanted to talk about today was the show the act have y'all seen that if y'all haven't you gotta watch it so i really like it because it's on hulu lord jesus okay so the show is on hulu and i really mess with that because i feel like a lot of shows that people really talk about nowadays they're all on netflix so i'm really glad hulu you know kind of came with it with that little show but anyway oh my gosh yeah it's hot it's real hot i used them y'all but it's so good it's hot but it's good mm. Mm -mm. Whew. all right the first bite was good so on the act i don't want to like spill too much tea because i want you to go watch it but I mean, really, it's based off of a true story. So if you Google the story, you'll know everything that happens on the show. But I'm just going to tell you what it's about to reel you in so you can go watch it. Okay, so it's about this little girl. And she thinks she's sickly. Like, her mama shaves her head. She, um, the government built them a house to live in. Because she was sick, built her wheelchair around. Y'all come to find out, baby girl can walk. The little girl named Gypsy, her mama name is Dee Dee. And so Gypsy kind of, you know, she figured out she could walk. Of course, like, duh, you're going to try at least. And she figured out that she could. So, she went years without saying nothing. Like, nobody knew that Gypsy could walk. Except for Gypsy and her mama. And 
I know you probably like, why didn't Gypsy just, you know, say something? But, you know, as a kid, you just kind of think your mom, you know, is doing everything for you and to help you. Like, they wouldn't do anything to harm you. So, Gypsy, like, shoot. If she's telling me to act like I can't walk, it's probably for a good reason. And she just kind of left it at that. So, without telling you too much about the show, Gypsy basically gets tired. Real tired of her mama's antics. And you just gotta watch it. You just, you just got to watch the show. I honestly waited way too long to eat. I want to talk about what's really on my mind. So all I've been thinking about lately is post, what is this? Oh, it's some lint. It's post-graduation stress. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, if I ain't nothing good, it's McDonald's Mac sauce. Okay. But, I don't know. After you graduate, you want to feel like you have stuff figured out. And you just don't. Okay, y'all. So, honestly, I wasn't feeling that old camera frame. Like I was trying to say. I haven't posted on YouTube in a while. Because I was trying to graduate college. You know. So. I broke my nail earlier today, guys. I almost didn't make this video because of it. It really broke my heart. But I was like. Uh uh honey the show must go on so anywho graduated in may oh yeah i mean just a few days ago i said that just because whenever you're watching this video whatever but i graduated a few days ago and um so now i'm like great i have time to youtube again but i've been on indeed searching for jobs and it's like i don't want none of those jobs and no offense to the people who, you know, I want to try some beach punch, who don't mind working those jobs. I mean, there's a job for everybody. Somebody's got to work every job out there, you know. Some people love being, you know, something that I would never even consider being and vice versa. If y'all haven't tried Minute Maid Peach Punch, Honestly, it's better in the carton, and y'all know it tastes different than the carton in the bottle. Don't play with me. So, it tastes better in the carton, but peach punch, y'all. Sponsor me. I'm your biggest cheerleader, honey. Well, nobody boosts Minute Maid Peach Punch. Like, I'll boost Minute Maid Peach Punch. But like I was saying, so I've been looking for these jobs and I'm like, I don't even want to work none of these jobs. So I'm wondering, God, this looks so good. And just all this ranch, you can really just mm, smother it in there. Y'all don't know about me. This feels illegal in all 50 states. This sauce is so good. It's called Sweet A's and Chili. That's it. It just popped in my head. Whew. If y'all want a tutorial, let me making my veggie wings. Comment below. Because, you know, the videos have to keep coming. So if you want to see something, you got to let me know. I feel like Edna from Incredibles. Oh, no, honey. No capes. No capes. Y'all, life is just, it's like, why am I here? And if you don't know why you're here, you just feel like you're wasting time. 
and I just feel like I'm just wasting time and I know it's like Micah you're young you're 22 you don't have any kids it's like yeah girl I know but I don't know y'all it's just trying to piece it all together is where it gets messy and uh, it looks you know good when you're a sophomore in college you're like yeah I'm finishing in four years this is great um, I'm on track I have my internship set up and it's like you have everything planned out until that May 4th graduation date or you know whenever your graduation is and then you're like <laughs> I honestly didn't think past this I mean you think that college is the preparation you need to to prepare you for the rest of your life but really no life is the only thing that can prepare you for the rest of life not college and y'all really made me mad if I tell this story I might get irritated but I'm gonna tell it anyway so I went to this little job interview but it's real world job right so basically I'm not going to you know spill all the beans but I am going to say that it ended up being like sorry Micah your resume is cute or whatever but <coughs> what is the wrong pipe but um we need real life experience instead of these school examples that you have and i'm sitting here like was i not really in school how is that not real was the last four years of my life a simulation was i living in a video game probably because i got played a lot i mean if you think about it school not even real it's not real god not gonna be like you gotta f your junior year when hell is freezing over you know what i mean like i don't know and i really just stressed myself out got myself in debt and now i can go get my de hold on i'm gonna be back you see this you see this right here <laughs> four years four years of stress late nights sleepless crying calling my mama freaking out you see this i don't even know what to do with it it's empty it's nothing in it right now this is all just a simulation none of it's real none of it's real mm -mm. okay but on a serious note, like for real, for real though, I'm serious. Like, this stuff not real, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a pessimist and a skeptic and I need to just chill out and relax and enjoy life a little. I mean, you probably right. But you know I got a point too. Like... You know, they yeah, they build you up like, you know, elementary you're gonna be so good, and a big girl in middle school, went to middle school, and they're like, you better start wearing that ID badge, because in high school they don't play around. And they get to high school, and they're like, you need to turn in that work, cause your college professors aren't gonna play around. Then you get to college, and they're like. You need to uh, turn your assignments in because in the real world, you're going to have due dates and deadlines. And I'm sitting here like really genuinely wondering. Uh, somebody just knocked at my door. I'm sitting here like genuinely wondering, what do you mean the real world? Is, is school, is they set it up like it's a simulation that make you walk in these lines with your hands in front of your mouth and the quiet thingies you remember the two fingers up and the one on your finger and or something like that and oh it the name tags like a prison number your student id numbers it's i don't know and the social security numbers it's like 
What's the difference in a social security number, a jail number, and a school ID number? Do you know the difference? There is none. They all identify you inside of an institution, just like our driver's license number. That's just another number identified to our name so they can identify us. We're just, we're like objects or something. And we just, we go along with it our whole lives. And I guess I see it for what it is. And I ain't having it. I ain't going out that easy. Sorry, call me a conspiracy theorist or whatever. But they delete videos like these because they say stuff like what I just said. Mark my words. I ain't even gave these cinnamon, uh, what they call cinnamon delights, no love. Look at it, y'all. The cinnamon crystals all on that thing. You know what? It's good, but I need to warm it up. Because the stuff in the middle usually juice out in your mouth like that. And it ain't without. It just feel like a little a little donut right now. Oh, oh, there's some juice. There's some juice. Okay, so another thing that I really, really wanted to talk about with you guys is like, okay, so you know how like stuff in your life be feeling like such a big deal and it's like when something goes wrong, it feels like it's the end of the world and when something goes right, you're on cloud nine, you feel like nothing's ever going to go wrong again and unfortunately neither of those situations is ever the case um so yeah i said that to say um where was i going with that i really forgot hmm. i'm a rambler oh it just came back for real y'all I, I genuinely forgot but um i know where i was going with this so an example in my life that reflects and even I have to work on it too like when stuff goes wrong I'm just like oh, oh my gosh like I just can't even live on and it's like girl what's up it's gonna be all right but I don't be thinking that y'all I would just be like no everything is going wrong like this is not good but really you could just chill out know the storm is gonna pass and the sun is gonna shine again can I get an amen but so um, my trunk is just full right now and it's one of my shames it's one of my life shames but it's just full of whatever it really my past and so I was looking in there the other day for a waffle maker and I found it by the way and um excuse me I found my excuse me high school homecoming court sashes and um, I was on high school homecoming court in the 11th and the 12th grade. In the 12th grade, I won queen. So, you know, it was like a really big deal for me in that moment in life, right? And um, I remember like feeling so excited that I made court and feeling so excited that I got queen and just not believing that they actually voted me and just, you know, being really happy about it. And to now be 22, looking in my trunk and to find the sashes, y'all literally crumbled up like worse than an old walmart bag crumpled up and it's just like <laughs> i laughed i'm like i cannot believe that this used to mean so much to me and now it's balled up in my trunk as i found those sashes i like grabbed them and i realized like everything's gonna be okay micah and it, it was a weird recollection i guess to have like homecoming sashes everything's gonna be okay i don't really know how that relates but it's just like the stress that I felt about getting on court and feeling popular enough in that school, you know what I mean? Just all the dumb stuff that was really just weighing on me over this sash and now it's thrown away, basically. Like, I might as well have thrown it away. I don't even know if I'd be able to, to recover them. They're that balled up. And so, I don't know, it just helped me realize that things feel really bad right now sometimes and you you know, put certain things on a pedestal and you stress out about certain things. But at the end of the day, like you one day, it's going to be balled up in your trunk, just like your homecoming sash. That guy that you're stressed out over, ladies, you're going to be stressed out about another one in two weeks. I promise. 
It's the circle of life. It's how the cookie crumbles. It's what happens. I don't really know what else to tell you. Like, it's cool just, you know, bounce back. I'm not saying just men. You know, I'm saying in everything, which is a really good example because, ladies, we get hung up on these men, honey. We get hung up, okay? But we don't need to do that. They don't need that power over us. Who run the world, girls? So I'm ranting at this point. I'm not even mug bonging because I'm not even eating no more because I'm full. I'm going to put this into the go box and just eat this later. This is honestly probably going to be two more meals for me. But, um... With all of that, hold on, let me clear, let me clear this off. I'll be back. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me on my little comfy couch today. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and I really hope that you're back for the third video and even more after that. And if you're returning to my channel, thank you so much for your patience and your support. If you liked my mukbang slash rant, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to just subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at MicahMarieX. I know you guys don't want to leave, but that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for starting your week off with me. And I hope the rest of your week is fine like wine and Micah Marie. Thanks, guys. And I'll see you in my next video.